What's up guys? So today I'm gonna try to catch Abra. Um, Wednesday walkthrough. Here we go. Um, let me check and just get a little refresh of what I've got going on here. I got th these Pokemon. And it says that there is an Abra in this area. I've got Ultra Balls just in case. Um, I'll be doing timestamps if uh, you guys don't want to see like all the grind to get to it. You can click on a timestamp and I'll put those in the item just or the uh, video description. That way you guys can uh, zoom right to the uh, point where I actually encounter a Abra. Or if you just want to watch me and hear me talk about stuff uh, while I'm looking, that's fine too. But if you've got any questions or anything, I just got my new Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon Pokedex. So I know when every Pokemon evolves that's in this game. <laughs> and every move they make, when to evolve them, how they evolve, all that good stuff. Turn down the volume a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm uh, trying to avoid my... Thor getting knocked out so that it'll evolve. So in order to avoid that, you must go to heal him whenever you get a chance. It's down to 9 HP, so. And I heard about this uh, thing you can get called a card catcher, I think, something like that. Where it just uh, streams the video straight to your computer. It's like a special Game Boy capture card you have to buy. And it's uh, it's like real expensive. It's like $250, $300. And um, depending on how popular this series becomes um, will depend on whether or not I buy a capture card. Magnemite. Go Thor. Oh, it's got moves that aren't very effective. Pokemon! Oh, yeah, better switch to the dishwasher. Soundproof. That's good. Dude, I don't think any of my moves are very effective against this Magnite. Magnite is going to be a pain. I'm going to see Pokemon. Maybe I'll just use... Gosh, this, this kind of kind of sucks. Encountering Magnemite. There is one Pokemon uh, I noticed I have that has a ground type move. Which will be good against Magnemite. Because he's metal. And it's rubbing. He has that mud slap. So maybe uh, for the sake of this grinding, I will go get the... Pokemon out. Grubbin. Grubbin! My mini pincer. So um, I think I'll put back the dishwasher for now. Just mine junior and then grab the let me just yeah, see? Has mud slop. So mud slap may be good. I'm gonna switch Pokemon so that mini pincer. Oh, oops, push the wrong button. Is up front. There we go. 
might be a little better. Have a super effective move to fight that mine. I've already caught one of these. Bite it! That didn't do very much damage. Vice grip! Let's try that. Mud slap. Oh, why can't my Pokemon just be strong? Bite, 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 bite. Pink Chubbs, grew to level 13. Starfax, grew to level 15. I just want to catch that Abra. It's a little bad. It says it's a uh, common catch here, so I don't know. It's not super common, but it's common. That one battle with that fur fro. Did so much damage to this grubbin. I wish it would stop trying to auto focus like that. Alright. Um, I think I'll just throw a potion on him. How about that? All right. I hope I encounter the Abra soon. Abra's the, I, I believe, last Pokemon that I need to catch here. I mean, other than, like, if I encounter a Mime Junior and then it calls for the friend Happiny, I can catch that, but... Hurt itself. Light Hawk grew to level 13. Wants to learn poison powder. We're gonna move to learn poison powder. Uh, let's see. We've got confusion gust, tackle, and I'll forget string shot. We got string shot and learn poison powder. Uh, stun spore? Hmm. Maybe I want stun spore more than poison powder. I can paralyze stuff. Sleep powder. Sleep or paralyze. Uh, I think I'll keep sleep. Lots of powders on this guy. There he is. All right. Let's see if I can catch him. Just going to go straight to... Uh, if I had my Butterfree out, I would use Sleep Powder. But I'm going to go straight to the bag and straight to the Ultra Ball. And see if that'll catch it. Might not. Might have to encounter it again. We'll see. Just don't want it to run away. Teleport out of the battle. Almost had it. Use teleport. Fled from the battle. So maybe I might want to have my Butterfree up front to use the sleep powder on him. We'll try one more. See if I can catch another one. Or encounter another one, I should say.
stupid accuracy. Pins are 13, also in Bug Bite. So Bug Bite has a power of 60. Regular Bite has a power of 60, but it's just a bug type move. Vice Grip has 55. Mud Slap has 20. I'm going to forget String Shot. Bug Bite. So I have a Bug Attack that does a lot of damage now. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to, whoops, switch Pokemon to where my sleep Pokemon is actually in front. And then if I encounter Magnemite, I'll swap. But right now, my Grubbin's kind of damaged, so it wouldn't really benefit to swap. I wonder if I zoom out a little bit, if that will help with the focusing. Gust! Confusion actually has no effect on this Alolan. Yeah, it seems like zooming out helps a little bit with the focus. Roll. I actually like Alakazam a lot. I hope I can uh, capture him soon, the Abra, to evolve him. This is actually a really powerful special attack kind of Pokemon, so. And they have really fast speed, just low defense. All right, here goes. I'm gonna try the sleep powder. I am poisoned. I wonder if that's gonna affect me. Okay, Aber fell asleep. I was hurt by the poison. All right, I'll try using the Ultra Ball right now. I hope it doesn't wake up and it flee. Sweet! So there you guys go. Let me mark it off my book. That's where you catch Abra. Earliest uh, available spot in the game. Abra's data was added to the Pokedex. Hashtag registered. Why don't you check out what kind of Pokemon it's you caught? It is. Okay, it says it's a Psy Pokemon. It's psychic. It can read others' minds and will teleport away when danger approaches. You must clear your mind if you want to catch, try to catch it. Would you like to give Abra a nickname? Yes. All right. Gonna call him Dinkmon. It's Dinkmon. And I think I will swap out the pincer.
Awesome. Finally done with this area, guys. Go heal up a little bit. Been uh, grinding for quite a while for that Abra. Alrighty. Maybe I'll just go explore a little bit. Alright, so I don't think I've actually... I stopped going this way because I saw that little way to get in there. So maybe I'll just continue to go this way. What is this? I wonder if I've already explored this. Let me look. Malasada shop. Okay, I don't think I have explored this. Let me see what they got here. Big Malasada, want to buy one? Yes. Thank you for your purchase. Our big Malasadas are really very big, so be sure to share it with your Pokemon. All right. You open up Medicine Pocket and put the big Malasada inside. Come back again soon. What does he got here? It's the Miraculous Munchie born in Alola. Welcome to your neighborhood Malasada shop. Which kind of Malasada would you like to buy? Let's buy a sweet Malasada. Choose Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to give it to Thor. Time to feed your hungry Pichu. The fresh sweet Malasada. Pichu took the, a reluctant bite of the sweet Malasada. Munch, munch, munch. Peach's affection went up a little. Well, that's good. I'm actually going to swap it to where he's back in the front. Just want him to evolve. I want that Raichu. Right. All right, let's see what these people have to say. Did you know that the name Malasada comes from a phrase meaning poorly cooked? I don't think there's anything poor about them. Okay. Whenever I hang out with the other ladies from the office, they always humble brag about their families while pretending to be complaining. I'd much rather hang out here by myself and see if I can set a new world record for the most miles that is eaten in a single sitting. Dang! Snorlax. My Pokemon just got... just tried a just-fried Malasada. Goosh! Okay, so that's the big Malasada shop. Or the Malasada shop, I should say. And look what do we have here. I filled off the totem sticker. So I'm going to mark that off on my book. I'm trying to check out everything I haven't gotten yet. So there is actually an item right there. I want to see how to get over to it. So, my encounter Pokemon. Tiny Mushroom. So, that's where you get the Tiny Mushroom. I'll mark that off my book. Alrighty. Cool. Didn't encounter anything. And now, this is that police uh, station, I think. I saw it. Okay, so there is that sticker on the other side. Huh. What does the sign say? Alola Photo Club. Take a photo. It'll last longer. Grow. Hot Champ is holding a sign that says Alola Photo Club coming soon. All right. Can't actually do anything there. There's the police station. Hey, hey. Here's some advice, trainer. If you're going to stand up to tough opponents, then be willing to use items on your Pokemon. You can help them get stronger. All right. All right, Kappa. Where's Jenny? There's the other totem sticker, the one I saw at the very beginning. There's a cop car. Let's see if I can hijack it in some way. Nope. Hmm. 
What's this say? How Oli Police Station. Keep our roads safe. Care careful riding Pokemon. All right. Let's see what's in the Kappa Station. I don't know how it is in other regions, but things are pretty peaceful here in Alola. If you do anything too bad, after all, you'll bring the wrath of the Guardians down upon you. Stuff Poke Doll. Okay, nothing really cool in here. No donuts anywhere. Alright, it says there's an item in this grass right here. I just gotta figure out how to get into there. Alright. It's actually a TM it's showing on my book. Echoed voice. Sweet. So that's where you get echoed voice. Put it away inside. Let's see what it does. Uh, bag. Really quick. Check out echoed voice. So it's just a regular 40 attack move. The user attacks the target using an echoed voice. This move is used every turn. Its power is increased if it's used every turn. All right, so I'm not gonna learn it. I'm not gonna learn it that move. All righty. Almost explored the whole How Ali City. Now they want to show up, huh? I wonder if I, I should just I should just try to catch one of these because they might be uh, since I encountered it might be worth trading later on. Try an Ultra Ball since I don't have my Butterfree out. Well, it was worth a try. Some people might be having a real hard time catching that. So, that's why I wanted to tr at least try. Okay, so we already visited the police station. Okay, there's a little uh, grassy area here, but I don't really see any uh, items on my map. There is a stick, some stickers down here. You've got a real sweet kind of face, don't you? I bet old ladies like to give you candy. Oh, uh, that's weird. Okay, so here's the, a sticker right here. Gonna mark that one off my map. And then this this is the uh, item. This is the marina down here where I'm at. Super potion. Marked that off my list. And then there's also a sticker right here. So I'll mark that one off my list. I got all the stickers in this area now. Well, except for the one that is in the fishing pond or whatever. Need a fishing rod. Attack power is the key to anything. If you use an X attack in battle, you can defeat a very tough Pokemon. Here, I'll give you one to try yourself. So cool. You actually get an X attack from that guy. An X attack will sharply raise your Pokemon's attack stat, helping you defeat the most other Pokemon hands down. Defense is in every battle. X defense in your Pokemon will bounce right off here. I'll give you one to try yourself. So you get the X attack and the X defense from these two. So it's worth talking to those two if you want one of those. And then I haven't talked to this guy. The ocean around Alola looks so huge and endless, but thanks to the great fairy system, you can get to the next island in no time. Let's see the Corsola. Cor! So the sign says, Fairy Terminal, the one, the one place to get on and off ships. I don't think I can even use this area yet. Let's see what I'll try and see what it says. Alola is, in, is great, isn't it? After all, there are lots of different Pokemon that'll let you ride on their backs. Okay. Alola, land of many dreams. Finally, I'm here to see you. And nothing over there. And there's a shop thing in here. And then this 
lady. I wonder when they're ever going to fix this. Is it? It's way more convenient to be able to use the vending machine anytime you want. The vending machine seems to be out of order. Have a good, good do, uh, good of you to stop by. Have a look at my wares, but just a look. They aren't for sale. What the? Okay. I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, but the ship is undergoing regular maintenance now. We hope to be underway again soon. All right. So yeah, nothing real uh, fancy inside this building for right now. So basically, you can come down here and get those items and that sticker, but those two stickers, I should say. And that's pretty much the whole How Oli City. Call all the Pokemon here, except for I didn't. I. I didn't catch the, uh, there is a Happeny, and also a Mr. Mime, if you battle Mime Jr., but, oh wait, Lily, Lily's talking, oh wait for me, Poke Jam, huh, she's all, wait for me, I'm gonna slowly strut over there. Oh, I'm glad to see a familiar face, I always get lost so quickly, I can't, figure out the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. But you, you're moving on to your first trial. You're going to Verdant Cavern. I read something in an old book once. I read. Uh, it said that the island challenges were once a journey made to prove yourself and gain strength to battle against the guardian deities of Alola, like Tapi Coco. The people in Iki Town said that Tapi Coco loves Pokemon battles, didn't they? If we could meet Tapi Coco once more, do you think we could find the answer to why it saved you and Nebby that day, Poke Jim? Oh yes, please take these. They are called revives. If you use one on Pokemon that is fainted, it will recover a little and feel a little better. <clears throat> so I got three revives from her. Put it in the medicine pocket. Poke Jim, good luck on your first trial. I will hope that it goes well for you. Okay. More. There, Poke Jim. I've got this ornery, ornery creature. Calm down for now. Want to try giving him a little pat again? That's the only way he'll get used to you. All right, I'll give him a pat. Come on, Pokemon. Try showing Taurus a bit of affection. Poke it on the nose. Touch its four legs. Grab it by the horns. Poke it on the nose. Touch its four legs. Yeah, this doesn't sound very smart here. I'll touch its four legs. Hmm, Dor Taurus didn't seem to care for that. Alright. Maybe I'll poke it on the nose. Taurus didn't seem to care for that either. Gosh, so I gotta grab it by the horns. That doesn't sound safe. Moo! Singing. Maybe old Taurus here can feel your love for your Pokemon. He sure seems happy to know you. And yet, it still seems like, to me, like Taurus wants to stretch his legs on his own island challenge. Ha. Hollis says, what? You want me to play tag now? The Mele Mele Kahuna never loses, friend. Okay, now my Pokedex is talking. Hey, traveling is pretty fun. I wonder, and then I think it said something about going up here. So this is Route 2. I'll end the video right here and explore Route 2 on the uh, next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you on the next video. Don't forget to click the little Gengar button if you want to subscribe, and I'll also post the first vi episode if you want to start from the beginning and watch the series. Thanks for watching, guys. S stay tuned on Wednesdays for Walkthrough Wednesday videos. I'll see you guys on the next one.